A Commerce City man is arrested for allegedly impersonating a police officer in Brighton. He pulled over a car along I-76 yesterday. Well, little did he know it was an off-duty deputy behind the wheel. Olivia Young reports tonight from Adams County. Imagine you're driving when all of a sudden an unmarked car starts flashing its lights at you and trying to pull you over, but something doesn't feel right. How do you know if it's a police officer or an impersonator? Saturday afternoon, Brighton police say someone was pretending to be law enforcement on I-76. We did have officers dispatched to the report of a police impersonator on I-76 um, heading westbound between Bridge Street and Bromley Lane. Police say the driver of this car, a 2019 Dodge Durango, activated red and blue lights from a bar in his windshield and tried to pull someone over. Over. His mistake, the car he was trying to stop was driven by an actual officer, an off-duty deputy with the Adams County Sheriff's Office. Seemed a little strange to this off-duty deputy. Moments later, the Durango started to brake check the off-duty deputy and actually forced him to the shoulder of the interstate. Police say a man wearing a security shirt and holding a silver badge got out of the Durango and approached the other car. The off-duty deputy actually used the word charged his vehicle. Fearing for his safety, the off-duty deputy pulled his firearm on the man and detained him. He was arrested on scene and booked into the Adams County Jail. That man was identified as Jose Flores Ortiz. He's charged with impersonating a peace officer, driving under the influence of alcohol, and prohibited use of a weapon, among other charges. While the alleged impersonator chose the wrong car to pull over Saturday, the risk of officer impersonations is still out there. There are people who impersonate police officers, then it could have been a definitely a dangerous situation. Brighton police say if you ever find yourself in that situation, get into the right lane, drive slowly, and turn on your hazard lights. You can then call 911 to confirm if the person pulling you over is a member of law enforcement. In Brighton, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First.